In nominating the three, regional balance appeared to have played a critical factor. Kenyatta settling on former Marsabit governor, Ambassador Ukuri Yatani, who lost the seat to Jubilees Mohamud Mohamed. Yatani vied on a frontier alliance party that backed Kenyatta's re-election. During the campaigns, the president had promised that whoever would lose the Marsabit governor seat would be given a government job. This is tunasema, moja wawa atakuwa governor, huyo mwingine, sisi tutaweka kwa serikali yangu. Uhuru's second nominee, former Senator John Munyes, is drawn from the Trukana region in northern Kenya. Munyes vied for the Trukana governor's seat on a jubilee ticket, but lost to the incumbent Josphat Nanok. His nomination is likely to give prominence to the jubilee administration in the region, which has been a bedrock of the opposition. To plug the gap of having a massa in cabinet after the passing on of Joseph Nkaiseri last year, the president has nominated the outgoing director of public prosecutions, Kiriako Tobiko. Tobiko was first appointed DPP in 2005, but was reassigned the same duties in 2010 after the new constitution came into force. In accordance with my nomination, I have today accepted the resignation of Mr. Kiriako Tobiko as Director of Public Prosecution under Article 158.9 of the Constitution of Kenya, 2010. The names of the three have been forwarded to the National Assembly for transmittal to the Committee on Appointments for Vetting, a committee chaired by House Speaker Justin Muturi. The President had earlier in the day met the House leadership team at status to agree on the vetting procedure of his nominees. Despite the House being on recess, upon receipt of the names, the Committee on Appointments will proceed to work and invite public memoranda on the scrutiny of the three nominees. The committee will then prepare a report to be tabled in the House when it resumes its session in mid-February. Nonetheless, should the report be ready before then, the House can be recalled for a special session to debate the suitability of the nominees to serve in Cabinet. If approved by the House, the names will be transmitted to the President for appointment. The Opposition Alliance, NASA, refused to nominate its members to the committee. Some again a citizen weekend.